For many of us, Monday is the day that we go back to work. Some of us look forward to it and some of us don't. But here at Radical Coaching, we believe that every Monday should be Passion Monday. Passion Monday TV is a program to help you become a champion in life, family and business. Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. If you and I want to build a great life, family or business, it has to start with us. We have to be the change that we want to see in the world. And we will see other people change as well. Many of us expect other people, other people to change first before we change. We expect others to love us first before we love them. We expect others to do something first before we do something for them. And that's the reason why we experience such frustration and failure in our lives, in our families, in our relationships, in our work. Good morning everyone and welcome to Passion Mondays where everyone can be a champion in life, family and business. This week we like to discuss about the power of personal responsibility. Personal responsibility can really change your world, my world and the whole world. I'd like to share with you three quotes on why, why I believe so. First one is from Johann Wolfgang von Gogh. He says this, Let everyone sweep in front of his own door and the whole world will be clean. If we will take personal responsibility for our own lives, the world will definitely become a better place. Now, of course, in reality, that is not so. We still expect other people to clean up our mess for us, but we need to start with ourselves and not worry about others. The second quote is this, you must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the seasons or the wind, but you can change yourself. That is something you have charge of, Jim Rohn. We cannot control people, we cannot control many circumstances in life, but we can control our choices. And that's the only thing that we need to take responsibility for, for our choices. The last one is by Winston Churchill. He says this, responsibility is the price of greatness. If you and I want to have a great life, family and business, we need to pay the price of responsibility. I'd like to share with you a story of a man called Nehemiah. It's a true historical story of how a man who took personal responsibility was able to change the course of history for his country. The Israelites had been captured already by another country and they were mostly brought to that country to work as slaves and servants. There was a particular man called Nehemiah who worked in the king's palace. Now, a new king had already came, uh, came to rule in that country and he was more generous and compassionate and he wanted to let the Israelites go back to their country. The opportunity came one day when Nehemiah was serving wine to the king and the king asked him, why do you, why do you look so sad? You know, is something wrong? And Nehemiah said, well, I'm actually missing my country. I'm thinking about my own country and how broken down it is and just feeling that I, I need to do something about that. And the king said, you know what? I'm going to give you the opportunity. I'm going to give you some resources, some money, some, some uh, troops. And you go back and do what you need to do. And so Nehemiah had this, uh, this given opportunity. He brought some of his people back to Jerusalem. Now Jerusalem was already broken down, already destroyed by, by the enemies. The walls were broken down. The foundations were broken down. The, the, the whole city was in ruins. Nehemiah took three days to walk around the city to really assess what he needed to do. And he realized that he needed to rebuild the walls of his city to give confidence back to his people because there was already a lot of negativity among the people. Most people had already given up hope uh, mentally because they felt that there was nothing more. They had already been destroyed. Now they just need to survive. There was tremendous pressure on Nehemiah. Other enemies in the area heard of what Nehemiah was trying to do and came and gave him a lot of pressure. They tried to put a lot of fear in his heart by telling him that, hey, if you, uh, we're watching you. If you do anything stupid, we're going to come and get you or we're going to report you back to the king. So there was the external pressure that, that Nehemiah was experiencing, but internally there was even greater pressure. A lot of his own people did not believe in him. Many of them uh, struggled to accept him, that, to understand what he was trying to do. And, and he, he really had a lot, of, a lot of challenges trying to unite his own people. So there were enemies coming, coming to, uh, 
to really uh, agitate them. A lot of people coming to uh, stop them from do doing what they needed to do. And internally, a lot of people really did not, did not believe and did not want to take personal responsibility for their own city. Nehemiah did not give up. He wanted to give up many times, but he did not. And thankfully, uh, he, he decided that he would still take personal responsibility for his own city, regardless of whether everybody would join in or not. And that's what he did. He became the change that he wanted to see in his city, in his world. And little by little, people began to support him. And enemies came and, and attacked them. And what, they, what he, he inspired his, his whole uh, city to do was to take personal responsibility for their own war. He gave every person a certain war to complete. And that's it. Don't try to do anything else. Just finish your own war. So everybody had one hand on a sword to prepare for enemy attacks and one hand on equipment to build the wall and what happened was that the whole team managed to build the wall in record time and as the wall came up confidence came back to the, to, the, to the city because there was now protection the enemies began to back away because they realized that, that, there, that uh, there was now defenses in the city and that the people were united and this is and this is a story how how one man because of taking personal responsibility, inspired others to also take personal responsibility and because of that, everybody built their own wall and because of that, a city was safe. I'd like to share with you five points on how you and I can start building personal responsibility each day. Number one, find out where is your wall that makes the greatest impact to your family or to your team at work. Find out where is the wall that you can build. Right? That, that could really build uh, something great for your family or for your team. Number two, focus on building your wall. Don't try to do some, someone else's role. Focus on your wall. Right? Don't be a busybody. Mind your own business and build your own wall. Number three, eliminate all distractions and wasteful activities. If spending too much time on the internet, the television, wasteful activities is really killing you, eliminate it, kill it. Okay? Don't let it de destroy your life and stop you from be becoming the champion you're meant to be. Eliminate, take, make a serious decision and eliminate all distractions and wasteful activities. Number four, whatever you do, do build your wall with excellence. That means giving the best effort, uh, but do not be a perfectionist. That's the right balance. It's about giving your best effort, knowing in your heart that you have given your best. But don't be a perfectionist and get too caught up with the details. Do not micromanage whatever you're doing. And the last one is, be, make a commitment to finish what you start. These five points, if you're able to slowly implement them in your lives, you'll be able to de develop greater personal responsibility and really be the change that you want in the world. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you next week at, uh, at Passion Monday. Right? Be the champion that you're meant to be. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to our program. We hope today's message has been useful for your life. For more information that will empower your life, please log on to our website at radical-coaching.com. See you again next week.